3 weather lab. Here's Daniel's True View forecast. Welcome back, everyone. It is the start of another week, but it is the same old forecast. The way we wrapped up last week, what we saw over the weekend, largely what we're going to be seeing over the next couple days. That means scattered shower activity across the area, hot, humid conditions, as you would expect in July. I do have a little bit of the tropics we need to talk about. We'll get to all that here in just a moment. First, though, let's start with a look at the satellite radar picture. You've got a good amount of shower activity going on offshore. Luckily for us, that's where it has remained and where it's expected to remain. A little frontal boundary that sat out in the Gulf of Mexico throughout the course of the day. Heavier showers that are on going offshore today. A little bit of scattered activity once you get northwards of that. We've got plenty of moisture in place and it doesn't take a lot to kind of spark some of the showers that we've been seeing. We got another round of that today. Any kind of shower activity though is going to be ending here probably in the next couple of hours as we start to head into the overnight. Well, most of the southeast dealing with exactly the same thing all the way from Florida getting out even over into parts of Houston where they saw some of the shower activity today. Right now you got some activity that's out over towards the west crossing its way into eastern parts of Texas and out over towards the east. Couple stronger thunderstorms that are out over close towards the New Orleans area. As for Acadiana, now we're looking fairly quiet. We did have a few isolated showers that have continued on through this evening. The most notable of which is going to be just just northwards of the Eunice region. This is going to be traveling now just north of Basile. It's north of uh, Highway 190, getting ready to work its way into Allen Parish. So Oberlin, you may be seeing some of this activity sections uh, along 165. Looks like it was trying to produce a little bit of hail as well. It's got a, a pretty decent looking hail course that may have some small hail in the mix. You're going to see some gusty winds associated with this system. Obviously the heavy rainfall and then a little bit of lightning, some thunder going to be in the mix as well. Looks like Eunice starting to see a little bit of light shower activity as some of that shower activity tails off down along the highway there, but that seems to be about it. The rest of Acadiana for the most part is looking fairly quiet out of the tropics do have some news that we need to talk about. First and foremost, nothing going on in the Gulf of Mexico and nothing immediately threatening the Gulf either. There's that frontal boundary. You can see with all the moisture there, that is really all we have to contend with. And then you look out over towards the Atlantic, a couple different systems. You've got an, one that may develop, and that will probably largely depend on what Tropical Storm Dawn does. This, believe it or not, is Tropical Storm Dawn. You're seeing a flare up right now uh, on just the eastern side of what I guess would be the low. They had the hurricane hunters down there earlier on today and really not very impressive as uh, some of that satellite data starts to catch up. But again, you, you do have a flare up of activity that's right around the low, likely why they went ahead and put a warning on it. But as you can see, the track's not going to be very impressive. Let's stop this by tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be impacting parts of the Caribbean uh, and then just northwards of South America. Winds are at about 40 miles an hour, could get up to about 45. Once it hits this region, though, this is very dry air, plenty of shear, and then doesn't last long. I think it's not even going to last out the week. You may get into Wednesday afternoon uh, with still a storm, but that's going to be about it. I think in the next 72 hours, you're going to see the end of Tropical Storm Dawn, and then we will move on to the next name. As far as our weather closer to home, we'll still get some showers in the mix. Nothing that's going to be too bad, though. Let's take this up into tomorrow afternoon. You've got scattered shower activity tomorrow afternoon calms down in the evening. Wednesday, do it all over again. Scattered shower activity in the afternoon calms down in the evening. And then Thursday, as you would imagine, scattered shower activity in the afternoon calms down in the evening. Temperature wise, mid 70s for early tomorrow morning. We should make it up to around 90. That's going to largely depend on where we end up seeing a lot of those showers. Heat index is going to be pushing triple digits tomorrow after dinner. Right around 84 degrees in Lafayette, 83 in New Iberia. Still some clouds hanging about. Still going to be fairly soggy outside, but again, the later you get into the evening, the more those storms start to struggle. Tonight's going to be no exception. Warm, swampy conditions, 75 degrees. It's going to be very, very humid outside with all the moisture that's on the ground after the last couple of days. 90 degrees for your high tomorrow. We'll go 40% chance of rain. Morning sunshine giving way to clouds in the afternoon. A couple scattered showers, a few thunderstorms in the mix. That is what we will have to contend with all the way through the rest of this work week and into the weekend. I think you may see an uh, uptick in activity for Sunday, Monday. Other than that, we're anywhere from about 30 to 40 percent uh, day in, day out. A very, very July-like forecast.